Alrighty, so today we're going to make my variation of a rigatoni vodka. Rigatoni vodka, while not outright traditionally Italian, it's a very popular dish in this country and we serve it by the truckloads at my restaurant. So today we're going to do a little twist on it. Um, I have some leftover bechamel, I got some uh, beautiful smoked bacon from the Amish market over here in Lancaster. So we're gonna we're gonna go with it. So first step is we have to saute the bacon and the onions. So what we're doing in a cold pan, we're gonna add our bacon, and we're just gonna render down the fat a little bit. A lot of fat and pork belly. We're gonna render that down, and then we're gonna fry the bacon or the onions in that pork fat. So the bacon is nice and rendered, getting crispy. We're gonna add our onions. There we go. We're gonna wait for the onions to get a little translucent for us. Now we're not gonna add too much salt because again, we're using bacon. Bacon's pretty salty. Um, we're gonna kind of judge as we go along here. That smells fantastic. Love it. All right, when the onions kind of render down, we're gonna go down to the next step. So we're just gonna take a quick break. Dull. Now we got our bacon onions sauteed. Now we gotta add the vodka for the vodka sauce. Now, we're gonna take this off heat, add the vodka, so the fire don't go We don't wanna repeat it last time, all right? So just a little bit of vodka, just eyeball it. There we go, that should be enough. Now, flames will pop up, so get ready for that. We can do a little flambe action. There we go, beautiful. Nice and controlled. There we go. See, we're not freaking out, we're relaxed, we're chill, we're just cooking off the buck. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Now that, that, while that cooks down, we are going to add a little bit more of some tomato paste. Throw that right in there. Mix that together. There we go. Nice and controlled. Beautiful. Notice we didn't add any garlic to this. Any cream-based sauce, don't ever put garlic in it. Because that is nasty. <laughs> You don't want a garlic taste with your cream. That's just, it's not a good combo. Okay, so tomato paste, vodka, all incorporated. We're gonna add a, there you are. We're gonna add a full can of the San Marzano tomatoes, peeled and whole. Throw that in there. A little water. Gotta get all the remnants of the tomatoes out. It's gonna help thin the sauce out a bit too. And we're going to smash the tomatoes again. There we go. Smashy, smashy, smashy. And we're going to cook this down until about, I would say, maybe half. Half its content. And we'll be back, back as soon as all of this is cut down. Make sure you smash these tomatoes. You want a nice smooth sauce. A little chunk is okay, there's nothing wrong with a little chunk. All right, so our sauce is reduced down to a point that's pretty good, I'm happy with it. So normally at this point you would add your heavy cream to this, but I have bechamel, which is like a fancy heavy cream, and I don't want to waste it. So I think, I think we're gonna go for it, see what happens. Never really done this before, but it'll be fun. that out. We're just going to incorporate that. Now this is the bechamel from our uh, lasagna. So, I don't know, I think it'll look good. Oh, it's thick. Look at that, it's immediately changing. 
Oh yeah, bud. I'm just gonna keep working this. Now, normally you could just add, you know, maybe a cup of heavy cream to get that going. But I like the color of this. This is nice. Look how pretty it is. All right, so at this point, we are going to boil our pasta. I've already had it preheated. Once the water's boiling, we'll, uh, we'll come back to you. All right, so the pasta of choice with our vodka sauce today we're using is a rotini. Um, you can use pretty much anything you want. I would avoid using any noodley pasta, like you could use a penne, a rigatoni, even ravioli could work. Linguine gets a little too messy with creams, I wouldn't suggest it. But I don't know, rotini looks kind of fun today and I was in a fun mood, so I kind of went with it. Uh, always cook to your box specification. This one says about 10 minutes. So we got our boiled water ready to go. It's salted. And we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes. Stir it in when you put it in, that way that nothing sticks. All right, so the vodka sauce is made. It's nice. It's got a great color to it. I like the flavors going on there. We boiled the pasta and we drained it. We boiled it for about 10 minutes. We're gonna add it to our sauce, nice and gently. Oh God. Maybe a little at a time here. That's fine. And we're gonna toss it in there. We need a bigger bowl. I'll tell you what. Pause. <laughs> All right, so instead, because the pan's too small, we're gonna put it in a big serving bowl. There we go, that makes way more sense. Sometimes you gotta think on the fly, you know? And that's the beauty about cooking. Cooking is not such a set recipe and formula like you see on TV, like Gordon Ramsay. Ah, things go bad, things go wrong, and sometimes you need to account for that. Sometimes your pasta's too dry, sometimes your chicken overcooks, sometimes you use too big of bowls or too small of bowls. And the best part about it is bouncing back. So we have the sauce in, we're tossing it. Oh, a little in the trash hole, it's okay, he appreciates it. We're gonna to toss this together. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a little bit of Parmesan, just in the actual sauce mixture here. There we go. Beautiful, more noises for Ferry to edit. And then we're gonna plate it. There we go. Beautiful vodka. Put that to the side. Finish her off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rigatoni vodka. Easy, simple, not exactly the most traditional of Italian dishes, but it's still delicious. Who cares about tradition? Sometimes you just need that comfort food. And Rigatoni vodka does it. That's why it's one of the most popular dishes in Italian restaurants in this country. It's almost number one. It's number five on my list. I have demographics, I look. But anyway, it's easy to make. If you find yourself enjoying this video, please comment, give us a like, subscribe, give us suggestions of other pastas you'd like to see made, and have a beer on me. Thanks for stopping by. Toss me a Heineken using the key and hooking the top. The liquor and tice, all the rice you cook in a pot, yeah. And this the life, if you ever in the mood for maybe a few drinks. And some bomb ass, bomb ass. Oh, we making bomb ass food. Just one shot won't do. Not tonight, cause if I'm not hungover then you know it isn't right.